Hello students, in my previous videos we have covered unit 1. We will be starting with unit 2 in this lecture. For unit 2 we need to study about alpha, beta and gamma particles. For that there is a strange activity of nucleus which was discovered that is that was called radioactivity. Radioactivity is the property of nucleus that is a nuclear phenomenon in which there is a spontaneous disintegration of radioactive element. Now this is just an introduction for unit 2. This is not coming in your exams. So History of radioactivity. In 1896, Henry Beckwell observed when non-fluorescent uranium salt that is uh, potassium uranium sulfate was kept on an object and then a black paper covered photographic plate was placed under it. It still gave an impression of object on photographic plate. He named this invisible rays as backwell rays. In that time, a fluorescence and x-rays were observed when sunlight was passed through a uh, uh, fluorescent material and it emitted some light which were observed on photographic plate. But without the use of sunlight, Henry Backwell was uh, able to observe some activity on photographic plate. Further, in 1898, Pierre and Madame Curie observed backwell rays from radium which they were which they extracted from pledgepend ore and it this it radium has 10 days to power six times more radioactivity than uranium they named this property of nucleus as radioactivity and they all backwell madame curie pierre they all got nobel prize in 1903 now in 1908 henry backwell died due to exposure due to radioactive exposure to radioactive substances so in his memory unit of radioactive was written and that is one backwell that is one disintegration per se second now further rutherford and his associated studied backwell rays through electromagnetic field experiments and found three types of rays so when backwell rays were put under electromagnetic radiations these three type of rays were found that is alpha rays beta rays and gamma rays alpha rays are positively charged rays given by this reaction beta rays are negatively charged rays given by this reaction and gamma rays are high energy neutral rays given by this reaction now the basic difference between these three radiation is found by their interaction with matter which is gonna be our topic for unit 2 that comes in CSR net exams also from Rutherford Saudi radioactivity can be statistically evaluated that is they gave exp uh, that is they help in the formation of exponential law of radioactivity which is n is equal to n not e exponential key power minus lambda t where lambda is decay constant n is the number of atoms left in a radioactive substance after time t and n naught is the initial number of atoms at time is equal to zero that is measurement when we start karte hain. also half life is given by this formula mean life is given by this formula and radioactivity is given by dn by dt is equal to lambda minus lambda n just the differentiation of this stuff